Hey everyone, so tonight I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Ultimate Iron Man from the Annihilus Wave. So we're going to go over the front of the package and then we'll get them on open and check out the back also. <laughs> so on the top here it has a comic picture of Ultimate Iron Man along with the old Marvel Legends logo on the side up above. Then coming down the side it just has a bunch of different comic pic pictures of Ultimate Iron Man. It just says Ultimate Iron Man in the front. It says collect Collect all six figures to build the Nihilus. And then it says Nihilus series, build a figure collection. And then it shows a little bit, you can see a part of Nihilus' butt sticking up right there. And on the side here, it has a picture of Nihilus' face, along with it says includes torso, shows the little number and a highlighted part of the body of Nihilus, showing which build a figure piece it comes with. Side, you can just kind of see in the package. And on the back here, it does a little bio of Tony Stark or Iron Man it says Marvel Legends at the very top here it has a picture of Ultimate Iron Man along with the other figures in the waves you can see Ultimate Iron Man Planet Hulk, Banshee, Emma Frost, X3 Beast and Hercules and then also the build a figure of an Eyeless. There is a variant of this Iron Man which I do not have so once that has the helmet that comes off and has a Tony Stark head um, but you can see on the top here it's just kind of it's pretty cool these cards are just a hard uh, cardboard which is kind of nice so they're pretty sturdy but we're going to get this guy open and we'll check him out all right guys so here's iron man out of the package so i'll do a quick little 360 i did make a mistake um his helmet does come off and show a tony stark head um there just is a variation in the packaging where it has him without his helmet on in the package but there's not i guess that's it's just more of a variant packaging the helmet does come off same figure so my mistake um so let's do this quick little 360 and then we'll go ahead and check out the build figure piece he comes with, along with the little pamphlet. And then we'll go over the details of the figure. Alright. Alright guys, so first I'm going to go ahead and move Iron Man and the piece out so he doesn't get in the way. So he, these came with these little pamphlets. just says Mar Marvel, Spider-Man Origins, Marvel Legends, Spider Superhero Squad, and Ghost Rider. So on the inside here, you can see there's that Iron Spider I did review. So he was the uh, Hasbro version. Um, or Hasbro's the only one that has made the Iron Spider-Man. We can see a couple of the other Spider-Man uh, from the Origin series. You can see the repaint of Dr. Octopus along with the repaint of Mysterio. From the old Toy Biz figure. Same thing with the Rhino here. Very cool. And it has more of the Spider-Man Origins. has some battle packs here. And that sweet Spider-Man on his ATV and Chopper. And then we just got some more, you know, kind of Mego style, some more little kid accessories, Superhero Squad, more Marvel Legends here. You can see like the Icon series that they had. You can see Wolverine, Thor, Punisher, and Doctor Doom, along with the series of uh, Nihilus. Here's the Blob series. So it's pretty cool to get a little pamphlet. It's always fun. Just Ghost Rider movie figures. Uh, some more Ghost Rider figures here. And then just one of the video games. So pretty cool. And it comes with a little checklist. I always liked checklists as a kid. So it's kind of neat to see those. And then it also comes with the Annihilus Build-A-Figure instructions. So it might be hard to see with this white. It just shows you how to build them. All right. So we're going to go over the Build-A-Figure piece. Uh, I have reviewed Annihilus. So if you want to check that out, definitely uh, check out my videos. But it's just the body of Annihilus. So you can just see the no head body so yeah not much to go over with that <laughs> we'll go ahead and go over the iron man um i really like overall the back metal look i think it's really cool because it's nice and shiny i saw the tony stark head underneath and i think you guys will get a good laugh this is, can show you this is definitely a good prime example how far hasbro has indeed come with their marvel legends so we'll go ahead and start off with the head um it's a very cool back metal look um i do like the way i think it's nice and shiny. It's got the nice bright yellow, blue eyes. The clean paint um, looks really good. And none of it's chipped or anything. Hello, you can see me. Hi. <laughs> but anyway, it's a very cool looking helmet. I'm not very familiar with the Ultimate Iron Man, but I really, I just like having more armors um, in the Hall of Armor uh, display. But on the front here, it's just more vac metal. Nice uh, blue on the arc reactor and a couple more blue uh, spots here. And then coming down the shoulders, not really vac metal, it's just more of a red paint with the yellow. Um, very, you know, you can see some of the sculpt. It's got a little bit of a black wash to kind of give it um, some depth. And on these sides here, they look a little faded. I don't know if that's just how it came. Because my, uh, I don't believe, my friend doesn't leave his stuff in the sun. This is who I got it from. 
So I don't think it was faded from the sun, but I think it just might have been how he came. Going to the rest of the figure, you just kind of got more of that sculpt, a little bit of black lining in there. So I think the front, and coming down his thighs there, you can see a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see it, a little bit of black uh, wash kind of painted on there. I think that the kneecaps are just kind of more of a darker red, you can see some black wash on there. And the front shins are all more vac metal, looks really cool. And the front's that same kind of darker red with a little bit of black uh, wash on there. Coming back here, I like how you can see the booster, some more of the black wash on the plastic. So it does have a good amount of detail on the paint. In the back, you can see some more back metal. Looks really cool. And I'll show you guys the Tony Stark face. All right, guys, you ready to see this amazing Tony Stark head? Here we go. Dun, dun. <laughs> this probably has to be the worst Tony Stark head I've ever seen. It just seems super small. And it Ah, it doesn't even look <laughs> it doesn't even look like come on put camera camera's like no it's so ugly I don't want to focus it doesn't even look like Tony Stark to me one eye's looking up one eye's I mean it's, <laughs> it's, the skin's so pale he's got some dirt on his cheek here I'm sure it's just messed up paint but oh god this is just awful to me I just I don't like this at all. Terrible. You see how bad this used to be? <laughs> it's just, an, it doesn't even look like Tony Stark. It's just, it's awful. I don't, there's not much else to say about this. It's just an awful head sculpt. Um, it's just black hair. You can see his eyebrows, goatee. <laughs> it's, nice. it's just, good God. Not much to, I don't really know what else to say. It's just, it's a terrible head sculpt. I mean, here he is next to the Robert Downey. I mean, look how better, how much better that looks. So much better. And then here, I'll get the other get the Toy Biz uh, Series 1. And even that, that looks so much better. You can tell that's Tony Stark. This just looks like, I don't know. It's just awful. That's all I have to say. It's just definitely never taking the helmet off again. It's going to always stay on. But we'll go ahead and go over the articulation now. So his head looks down and up very far. Looks, that's good. Looks left and right. Kind of. That's probably not a rocking motion much. More the helmet adjusting. It's got ball joints in the shoulders. They move out, nice and far. Move forward and back. It's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, it's got a forearm rotation and a hinge at the wrist but the hands are just stuck like that so it's like uh coming to shake your hand uh motion to a high i don't know it's it could have been better maybe a full you know anyway nice not a nice ab crunch it doesn't want to go forward oh no this hideous face is out get it back on hurry all right back not so much either so it's kind of stuck uh, waist swivel, it kicks forward, it's got the Y joints, so you can spread them pretty far. There we go. Upper, bice, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, that looks really weird. Uh, no boot swivel. Uh, there's some rotation in the ankles here, but this vac metal piece gets in the way, so you don't want to snap that off, but it looks like it goes up. Can't go back, can't go forward and no pegs on the feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall this Ultimate Iron Man is. All right guys, so Ultimate Iron Man stands right about six and a half inches tall. So it's a nice uh, tall Iron Man. Here he is next to the Epic Heroes Iron Man. You can see he's definitely taller than him. And here he is next to the Iron Monger series Iron Man. I always like this one, pretty cool. And then we'll bring out the Series 1, since you guys already saw that, uh, Iron Man from Toy Biz. I didn't grab a lot of my Iron Man, I just grabbed a few, just so it's not too many. And then we'll go ahead and stand up next to the MCU uh, Iron Man. So he does, definitely fits in the armory. Um, otherwise, if I wasn't building an Iron Man armory, um, I would not have bought this figure. 
personally, I don't think it's a very good Iron Man figure. It's, I mean, the back metal's cool. Um, I wish the helmet just stayed on. <laughs> personally, I just don't think it's. I'm ever going to take that thing off. Um, articulation's decent. I, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, you he, he could definitely get him in poses. The ankles bug me. Ab crunch doesn't really work, so that bugs me. Um, overall, I don't know. If he's if he's cheap, I say pick him up because you can just toss him in your armory. I wouldn't pay more than 12 bucks for him. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. Um, but there you go, guys. Let me know in your comments what you think. I hope you had a laugh at that Tony Stark head. I, I know I was chuckling to myself, but um, definitely let me guys think. Uh, do you think this figure is awful? Say it. Do you think it's decent? Go ahead and say it. I, I, you know, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think about this guy. But there you go, guys. That's my review of the Marvel Legends Ultimate Iron Man. Um, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. Alright, thanks guys. Have a great night. Take care.